In this video, I'll show how to create a conditional form in WordPress. When I click any of these options, the form fields below change accordingly. And under the website design option, when I select the type of website as e-commerce, I see the option to select a platform for the e-commerce site. When the website type is something else like portfolio or business, I see other options below. This is because I have set conditions for the fields here. Same for the other options. Under graphic design, when I select the project type is logo, then I see these options. But when I select a different option here like brochure, I see some different options here. Now let's see how to build this form on a WordPress website. First, you need to install the Forminator plugin. I already have the plugin installed on this website. I made another video with this plugin. The video is on how to create a multi-step form in WordPress. Let's build the conditional form here. So under Forminator, I'll select the forms option. I'll create a new form. Here I'll select the blank template and I'll name it conditional form. I'll keep this form short to show you how to create the conditions. First I'll insert a field. Here first I'll select this select field which will create a drop down for us and I'll insert this. I'll name this field select a service. And for the options I'll type website. The second option is SEO. And the third option is graphics design. I'll change it to website design apply. Now based on the selection, I want to display different type of fields in the form. For that, I'll add a new field. This time I'll select the select option again and I'll click insert fields. Here I'll name it type of website, e-commerce for the options, blog, now I need to add the condition for this field. When the user select the website option, this field should appear. For that, I'll go to the visibility tab here. I'll add a new rule. Add rule and the rule is dependent on this field, select a service field. And when the select a service field is website design, I want to display the type of website field. I'll click on done. I'll click on apply. Now I'll publish the form. I'll click on the preview button to see how it works. You see by default the website design is selected that's why i see the type of website field when i select a different option here seo i don't see that field graphic design i don't see that field but when i select website design i can see the field is here i need to add a placeholder for the first drop down here i'll click on edit field i'll copy the same thing here for the placeholder and i'll apply now here i see the placeholder is select a service so it didn't select the website design by default. Now I'll add some more fields and I'll add the conditions based on the other options, SEO or graphic design. I'll click on insert field. I'll select input and insert field. If someone select the SEO option, then I need to ask for the URL of the website. So I'll just type website URL. Now I need to add the condition. I'll click on visibility here. I'll add rule. I'll select this option, select a service. When the select a service field is SEO, then display this website field. Click on done, apply. Now I'll add one more field for the graphic design. I'll select the radio option here. Here I'll click on insert fields. For the field level, I'll type project type. And for the options, I'll add logo, business card, brochure. Now under visibility, I'll add the rule. The rule is when someone selects graphic design, then display this field, apply. Now let's preview it. So the update is complete. I'll click on the preview button here. When I select website design, I see the type of website field here. When I select the SEO option, it asks for the website URL. When I select the graphic design, it shows the project type. You can add multiple fields and conditions as per your requirements. So it depends on you what type of conditional form you want to create. You do not need to pay for this feature. This is for free. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel.